Welcome to JoJo's Mojo on Mupo Entertainment, where I take people from zero to hero. Welcome my guest today, is Marianne Ruiz. How are you today? I am doing fabulous, Joanna, or can I call you JoJo? Yeah, JoJo. Call me JoJo. Awesome. Aloha so and good morning, good morning, JoJo. Good morning So. You. My name is Marianne Roos, just like you said. Roos. I am a serial entrepreneur. I'm so excited to be here just to share, have conversation. I know that you and I first got a chance to connect when we were students of the legendary, none other than Les Brown, where that is one of the places, just one of the places where we had a chance to fine tune our sharing of our stories and not necessarily finding our voice because we are all always had our voice finding a way of sharing our voice it was an amazing program and i'm so grateful that they took the lead they took the lead and they combined efforts with john tellerico to create a program during covid where people could come on a platform and relate, get to know each other, meet new people, and explore our gifts. When we come back from this commercial break, we're going to have more from Marianne. Welcome back to JoJo's Mojo. We're taking Marianne from zero to hero. Marianne, I wanted to ask you about BNI. What is that? BNI is a networking organization. So basically, BNI stands for Business Network International, meaning that it's international. And there are chapters all over the world where people get together and network for the purpose of growing businesses we listen to each other what what our needs are and we help to make connections that's beautiful now every month on the first of the month there's something you do and it's very special and it's cool the wheel tell us about the wheel the wheel yes there are actually two things that i do on the first of the month and one of those is the wheel to where those individuals that are members of bni no matter where around the world they are those that have supported my business either by doing business directly with me or by sending business my way in the way of referrals i put their name on a wheel that way I can say thank you and randomly get a chance to celebrate someone when their name comes up, they receive a surprise in the mail. I have no idea what goes out until I actually do the sending. Oh, that's sometimes, funny. Yeah, sometimes it's brownies, sometimes it's a book. It could be a little dancing flower to put in their windowsill, whatever, you know, in that moment is just follow your prompting, you know. Yeah, that's fun. I like that. I was watching you do that on your Facebook page, and that was really amazing. And another thing um, I watched on your Facebook page was you send out these cards, the birthday cards. People haven't sent out cards in a very long time. I do know people that send them out, but that one story you shared, I want you to share it with the audience about that. The older woman that got it, you, you didn't know she was alone. Can you go into a little bit about that story? Definitely. So through the years, I have made connections with folks in different ways. Some are on Facebook, some have been through events that we've done in the community. And what I like to do is ask if there's a mailing address to stay in touch. And if it's okay to send them a birthday card to put their birthday, I don't need to know the year, no need to have, you know, all those details, simply the month and the date. Every year I'm sending business, 
birthday cards to everybody that I have a birthday for, even if it's a late birthday card, because I was just sending birthday cards for October over the weekend. So they will be very late birthday cards. And what I have found is that it doesn't matter when a birthday card is sent. It's that it's the thought that counts. And there, this particular woman, she reached out after receiving the birthday card and it just touched my heart because I didn't realize that she was alone, no more family. And wow. for her to receive a birthday card to where there's no strings attached is simply wishing her a happy birthday, that it made her day, that it made her smile, smile and it affected her in such a way that she even called to let me know. <laughs> that's a beautiful story because so many people need encouragement out there now I noticed above you you have a title called release your inner badass can you tell me a little bit about your book and yes how what brought that title tell me about the title what how you came up with the title and and what the book is about for sure so a little background story on the book is I was writing a book before COVID even started. And then during COVID, I decided to treat myself for my birthday and I signed up for the program with Les Brown. His business coach, John Tallarico, would stay afterwards to answer questions and help people through whatever was going on that have to do with the program. I was sharing with him that I was not sure how to share my story. I shared about my story with him to where there was no way at that point that I could share without just bawling my eyes out. And then it's like, I have to recompose myself. <laughs> <laughs> and from sharing that story and the comments that were coming through from the other people that were there it really struck to me that yes i need to find a way to share that story that is why i put it and included it in my book which is called release your inner badass where in chapter one i share about that life-changing moment and literally, it was going to be a life changing moment for me because it was going to be a life ending moment. And what happened, what was that little glimpse in the storm of the storm that I was going through that helped me through just that little inch to where it was not the end of my life. Touching. Yeah, definitely. So I'm, I'm getting goosebumps, you know, just, <laughs> just, just, just sharing it. And so it helped to transform how I was writing my book to where in the end, it's a book that helps you to break through your own barriers. It's a book to help you find that inner strength when you don't feel or think that you even have anything left and basically help to release that inner badass that is within you. Can I say that word? Yes. <laughs> the only thing we don't allow on Google Entertainment is X-rated. Other words. Yes. Okay. Oh, yeah. Well, other words, just as long as we let them know. We just don't, we don't want to have any kind of, you know, X-rated material on here. Definitely. The, the book itself is not X-rated. Even the <laughs> sharing, I learned to share to where through the sharing it doesn't bring you down into a dark deep space that you can't get out of it's sharing some of the experience and then how to come out of it yes because les brown that's what he taught us which is very it's very helpful have you been on any stages since then or i know you have meetings your Facebook page. What is the title of your Facebook page? It's just my name. Okay. You should be able to see it right Marianne. there. Marianne Roos. It's simply my name. It's it's me. What you see it is what you get. <laughs> whether whether I show up in onesie pajamas or I'm all dressed in in regular clothes. <laughs> And definitely learning how to share your story in a way to where it doesn't bring people down. Because at the same time, we don't know what they're going through. It doesn't always show. 
And we don't want to share in a way that will get them stuck. We want to be able to elevate. And we want to help others rise and find their strength that they have within. Awesome. And I want to ask you a question. How have you changed from before the Les Brown Power Voice System till now and writing the book? Is there anything new that you learned through that process that you didn't know before? Because it's really oh. important for our viewers to understand there's always something to learn every day. We learn till we die. I learned that from my mom in her, in her late 70s or late 80s when she passed. You know, like the one thing that sticks out in your mind when you're telling your story, learning how to organize it, going to the idea of writing a book and then actually putting it out on paper having it published and putting it out, you know, that is a, that's a big, that's a margin of growth right there. It is huge. It is huge. I, I would say some of the things that really stuck out to me was at first I knew I needed to write the book. The reason for me writing the book was not a hundred percent apparent. I knew I needed to share that story I knew that it could change somebody's life. I did not know to what extent because <laughs> afterwards, when the book was just about to be published, something came up with a teenager who attempted suicide. And to where it's not somebody that I know, but it's somebody, it's, it's the child that's somebody of a friend. Through that, a mentoring program was started for teenage girls that are going through some challenges. And it was put on my heart that I needed to get this book to those teenage girls because chapter one is where I was at my darkest to where nobody knew. Nobody knew what was going on. Nobody knew that I was behind that bathroom door. Nobody would have guessed that I would have been the one on the floor with a bottle of oxymedicine, a full bottle. Nobody knew what was going on internally. Mm -hmm. And that when we look at other individuals, we don't know what's going on inside. Right. So there, when this particular story was brought up in this mentoring group for teenagers that are going through sound challenges came about I knew I was like this is why I wrote this book I need mm -hmm. to get this to the teenagers from there I made a plea basically on my Facebook I did a live saying I need to get this book out it takes funding to get this book out to these teenagers yes I can do some However, there's more need than what I'm, what I'm able to. And by doing that plea, not only did I receive support from friends to get this book out to those teenagers, there's a nonprofit here for the islands that reached out that works with homeless children and teenagers, and they have a mentoring program for teenagers. And they asked, can you sponsor our teams also? <laughs> so I'm like, how many are we talking about here? Yes, let's let's do this. <laughs> so fr so from here, we've already started sponsoring some other teenagers. They have way more teenagers than what we have sponsored so far. And so from that, that also sparked another project, which is called the Light in the Storm Project which eventually is going to turn into a nonprofit. And I know that we don't have hours and hours to talk about it, but that is where my heart is taking me to support teenagers all around the world and eventually also go speak to high schools and get the book gifted to all the teens that are there. Because just like I said earlier, we can't tell just from looking at somebody what's going on on the inside. That's that's correct. And I agree. And that's why I have you on the show and people like you, because it's important that they know they're on the bottom. They know they can rise. They know that it's possible. And if I could do it, you could do it. And having people believe in them and support them. It's really important. 
when we come back from this commercial break, we're going to talk a little bit more about the nonprofit and what Marianne wants to do with it, a little bit more specifics. We'll see you when we get back. <laughs> Jojo's Mojo on Mupo Entertainment. We're back with Mary Ann. Mary Ann, you were talking uh, before the break about this new nonprofit you are going to start up and you're getting really excited about helping the teenage girls. Can you tell us a little bit more about that? Definitely. So this is a vision that I had where basically there are so many teenagers out there just from looking at them we can't tell if there's something going on on the inside so what came to me is being able to go to the high schools share my story and have the book available at no charge to all the teenagers at those high schools this is I realize a big vision. And at the same time, I know that visions are not given to us unless there is a way to make them a reality. So we're at the that. very start. We're at the moment putting the steps together that we need to put together in order to make it a reality. Okay, that'll be a whole wonderful thing. And I would love to bring you back once that's implemented and we could maybe you could take some video and we can do that. Maybe do like a little short about it because be lovely. I would, I would love to get the message out there bigger. That's why I do Jojo's Mojo is to go bigger because I'm never satisfied. I always want more. And so this is really an awesome program you guys are going to put together and it's a nonprofit Mm -hmm. which is dear to your heart, which is amazing. Yes, and at the moment we're partnering with nonprofits who are already working with teenagers. And at the moment it's teenagers that are homeless that are going to be going on to college. So they're going to be provided support and I'm very excited for that. Yay, I'm glad to hear that because our teenagers need us. They need guidance, they need support. And they need good mentors and people to follow. I'm all about that. How can we find you on Facebook? Very simple. Very simple. Whether it's Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, TikTok, and, and all those platforms, just look for my name, Marianne Roos. Usually it has no space or hyphen for those platforms. So all in one word, Marianne Roos, that's it. And your website is MarianneRoos.com. <laughs> we like to keep it simple. Yeah, simple's better for sure. I want to thank you for coming on JoJo's Mojo. My pleasure, JoJo. Anytime. We are on Saturdays, 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Mupo Entertainment on MupoTV.com, JoJo's Mojo, and Mupo Entertainment. And I interview people, taking them from zero to hero. And we look forward to having you on JoJo's Mojo. Anybody interested in being on my show, DM me and I will send you my link.
Thank you so much, so much, so much, Marianne, for coming on my show, for telling your story so that people can learn how to share theirs. My pleasure. Much aloha. Aloha and mahalo.